Okay, uh, you're looking at live pictures of, uh, well, it looks like it's live pictures. Kamala Harris just landed in Warsaw, Poland, for talks with NATO. We're in luck, folks. There she is. She's going to save the world from World War III. Kamala Harris. All right, while well, Ukrainians are fighting for their lives, Russians are fighting for leftover McDonald's Big Macs. Joining me now to react, former California Congressman Devin Nunes. Cong I'm going to still call you Cong Congressman. You knew, you knew Russia very, very well. You know Russia very well. At what point do these sanctions, you know, we kind of tongue-in-cheek laugh about McDonald's pulling up, but sanctions across the board, U.S. companies, U.S. banks, at, at some point, they, they, they have to feel this, do they not? You know, Erica, it's funny that you, you mentioned I had actually went to Russia to that very McDonald's that you showed in the last segment back in the mid-90s, shortly, I don't know, a few years after it, it had opened. And to watch the hope that was there in Russia at that time then transpire into Putin gaining power to now, you know, he's always been a bad actor and essentially has become a dictator. But to see him go into this stage now to bring Europe into, you know, a full-scale uh, crisis like this after World War I, after World War II, after the Cold War, a major invasion like this, I, I think is, is so troubling. So look, it, it has to be pretty dark there living in Russia. Um, I, don't, I think we're not getting a lot of great information out of there, but it's gonna be for people doing business in Russia. So, so um, think yeah, about what's happening yeah, here in this country with I, $9 I would, gas. I would, hope, I would hope when McDonald's closes and Starbucks closes that the people of Russia realize, hey, Whatever Putin's telling us is BS, because if these big companies are pulling out, we, we must not be eradicating the Ukraine of, of Nazism. I think the bigger issues, uh, really, Eric, are going to be, I mean, McDonald's and Starbucks, you know, great, no, nothing against them. But I think the bigger issue is, you know, the apples of the world, the big tech, the big tech companies, banking, airlines, uh, you know, that has got to be putting a, a, a hamper on everything. I mean, look, you know, we're across the pond. Uh, we've now gotten California $9 gas in some places I, I saw, but it, it, it definitely over $5 across much of America. So think of what's happening in Russia right now. It has to be very, very painful. And I think we can only hope yeah. that Putin can, can reach his senses and, and somehow uh, we can get out of this mess. I'm not sure that Kamala Harris is going to exactly figure it out, but at least she knows that Poland is probably a big country next to Russia or something. I don't know. Congressman, we're going to bring you back because you're, you're part of, you're running the, uh, you're CEO of, of Truth Social. I want to get you back on to talk a little bit about, you know, how that's going and, and how it's going in, it, with regards to Russia. Are there hashtags? Yeah. Are people supporting Ukraine? I don't have time, sir. I, I apologize. It's breaking news, but we'll bring you back to do that. Thank you for your time. Great to be with you, Eric. Thank you.